Hello and welcome. In this lesson, let's try to layer a simple Azure function that runs based on a Cosmos DB trigger. This Azure function is trying to detect high-speed vehicles on the highway. Let's assume when a vehicle is passed in a specific location, vehicle details are captured and saved in a document database. I have created an empty Azure function app and added a Cosmos DB trigger template. So you can see the code template here. You have to provide this connection string setting to read data from the Cosmos DB. Let's move to the settings file and try to add the setting to hold the database connection string. So I will add a setting called DB connection string. And I will get this connection string name to here. Okay, so we have to fill this empty connection string parameter in the setting file. We have to move to the Azure portal. I have already created a Cosmos DB account. Let's try to use it for this demo. So let's move to the Data Explorer tab. In Cosmos DB account, you can see a database called To Do List is created in the Cosmos DB account under that items container is created. Let's try to plug this information to the Azure function. In the function, we have to replace the database name to to do list and container to collection name to items. So let's move to the setting file to update the connection string, this information. So you have to pick the connection string information from the key section in the Azure Cosmos DB account here. So we have to copy the primary connection string and paste it to this setting. When you try to run your Azure function in the first attempt, you will get an error because the leases collection is not available in our database. This leases collection is used to uh, store this state information, the state changes of the items container. So we can create this leases collection if that's not available from here. Uh, we have to provide the attribute, create leases collection if not exists to true. Okay, so let's assume a document is created when a vehicle is passed in a specific point in the highway. Try to grab this data. We want to analyze the speed of the vehicle. At first, we want to get the vehicle number by reading the created document. So in here, we get list of documents. So we will pick the first document and try to get the vehicle number from it. After that, let's assume we can get the speed value, vehicle passed location and mobile number of the driver. So in here, let's try to get the vehicle number. We have to use the get property value and let's think that vehicle number is a string vehicle number property and we'll copy the same line. We have to get the speed. It will be a double. Then the city, it will be a string, then the mobile number. Okay, after capturing all this information about the speed of the vehicle, we can analyze it and provide the warning message to the user. So with the if condition, 
the speed is greater than 80. So we have to provide a warning message. Let's construct the message. We have to say high speed detected in this city. This is the vehicle number. and speed let's lock this information okay Okay, we are done with the coding. So let's run the application. Let's construct a sample document in the Cosmos DB with the vehicle number and speed of the vehicle. So first let's run this and move here and try to create a new item and save. Okay, so you can see this function is triggered and this message is displayed. So in this video, we have created the Cosmos DB trigger function app and tested it with some real data in the database. Until the next video, goodbye and take care.